Hey guys, I want you to tell me something. Tell me something positive that has happened to you this week. Why am I asking you that question? Well, today I'm doing a collaboration with some of my absolute favorite YouTubers and best art friends on the interwebs, Monique Renee Art and Hello Alice. And we decided we are going to spread some positivity today and share some of our positive art experiences with our art teachers. So first, let's just mention those spoiler alerts. Yeah, I'm going to be showing their art at the end of this video, but you can't see it yet because that would be way too much of a spoiler and I want you to go watch their videos. So be sure to check them out after you watch this video and show them some love. Subscribe, tell them I sent you, and admire their amazing artwork for this collab because guys, it is just, oh, both of their art is just, oh, I love it. So what am I doing in this painting? I am doing a Creatures of Peace painting and it's a little whimsical and out there, but we all decided we also just have spring fever and so all of our artwork kind of incorporates something with plants and you'll see that. So that's another spoiler alert. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm going to tell you about my positive art experiences with the art teacher that I had. And I can't stress this enough, but of all people in this world who could have taught art at the school that I went to, I am so, so thankful that this woman was my art teacher. She was my art teacher for five years, actually, because in junior high, I went there, she was my art teacher, and when I was finishing up junior high, she was actually moving up to the high school, so it, it really worked out, and I feel very fortunate to have had such an amazing teacher for five entire years of my life. So I'm not going to say her name in this video. I'm not going to say where I went to school because I respect her privacy and I also respect mine. So yeah, but as I said, she was my art teacher for five years and in junior high school, I knew that she was like an amazing teacher right from the get go because her enthusiasm for art was just contagious and she had this way of letting everybody approach art differently. And I think that's so cool because I have always been a strong believer in art doesn't have rules. Like that's just how I've always viewed it. And when I took her art classes, I did things differently. I did things weirdly. I remember in ninth grade, I was... I was drawing this portrait and I started with the eye first and I know most people are like, hey, that's a big no-no, but she just encouraged me to keep going and it was just really cool that she, she looked past rules like that and at the same time she encouraged you to follow rules if it worked for you. So she had so many approaches to teaching and I think it takes a truly gifted person to do that, and she had that gift. She still has that gift. I know she does. So, yeah, that was just like a little detail that I remember. But as time went on, and she moved up to the high school, and I went to the high school, art got more serious for me. And I remember I did not really talk that much in school, like... If anybody who went to school with me is watching this, they probably know that, like, I was that quiet girl who never really talked. <laughs> so when study hall rolled around and I had, like, breaks in my schedule, I also just, like, didn't want to be in study hall. I wanted to go to the art room. And my art teacher was so amazing, and she let me come to her room, like, whenever I wanted to, and that was awesome. She encouraged it, and she let me work on my art projects, like, all the time. And if I didn't want to work on, like, assignments, I could just work on, like, what I wanted, like, in the study halls. I mean, like, in actual class, I had to do the assignments. But it was really nice because 
that freedom that she gave me just like opened up a whole new world for me and she didn't like hover or anything but she had this cool approach of like encouraging you to do your artwork but finding your independence within it and I think that's a very powerful thing to do for people who are learning is to help them discover their artistic independence so that was really cool and I feel like had she not taught me that I would not be where I am today like definitely wouldn't be she she kind of like made sure you were always pushing yourself but she didn't hover over you the entire time and like walk you through it she didn't spoon feed you how to do art and that was just one of the most amazing things you know like it just always made me want to keep trying and yeah I'm just so thankful for that I don't know how to describe exactly how like gifted she is at teaching because she is a tremendously amazing art teacher and I'm just so thankful that she taught me to push myself and to accept doing things differently, to not just like grow comfortable with where I am, but to always seek to improve. And even if it's like intimidating, she always helped us to push ourselves to improve. And that's just so cool to me. Like she would go out of her way and teach like other art classes too, such as fibers she taught sculpture printmaking like all these really awesome classes so when I was in high school I guess she just taught me not to limit myself and as I said be an independent artist needless to say I pretty much tried to take every class that she taught because I loved being in the art room so much and I loved learning all of the different types of art but I also just really loved her as a teacher, and I remember we had to make these portfolios our senior year of high school. I forget how many pieces exactly had to be in it, but if you've ever taken AP portfolio, you probably know what I'm talking about. You have to have a lot of artwork built up for your senior year. She always like pushed us so hard to work on those and I remember at the time it seemed overwhelming to work on all those projects but looking back on it that was the absolute most fun I had had ever in an art class was working on a portfolio something that really interested me this is the stuff that really pushed me as an artist, and she did not let us give up on that. And anytime we would feel like uninspired or just not motivated or just wanted to give up, she would listen to us and she would hear what we were feeling. And she would relate with us, she would let us feel what we felt, and then she would take what we were feeling and encourage us to keep applying ourselves and to keep working at our portfolios and she did this in really cool ways because sometimes in that art class we would walk in expecting to work on our portfolio that day whatever project we were trying to finish and instead there would be like three light bulbs on every table and I remember thinking one day like what's going on why are there all these light bulbs in here and she said hey we're gonna switch it up today let's just do some still lifes and I just thought that was so cool like other days we'd walk in and there'd be like a striped blanket on the chair and she'd be like hey we're gonna paint this today like a huge painting we're gonna do a huge painting with this chair and this striped blanket on it because I want you guys to learn wrinkles I want you guys to learn how to paint wrinkles so we would like pause from whatever we were doing and we would do these art projects and it almost just like sparked a new sense of inspiration in me when she did that kind of stuff like it was always something that I would never really like think to do but she she always just had it planned and was always like excited about it and 
I remember we would like whine and give her hash sometimes like, oh, this is so hard. I don't know if I can draw all these stripes on this blanket. And she always just gave us projects that, you know, at first we didn't think we could conquer it. And then by the end, with her help, like, yeah, we got through it. But at the same time, through all those hard projects, she taught us to be independent. And yeah, it was just amazing. And I think to this day, if I wouldn't have had her as an art teacher, I don't know if I'd be making YouTube videos. I don't know if I would even be doing art because she made me understand my love for art. And had I had a different teacher or something that wasn't as enthusiastic, I don't know how I'd feel about it, you know? And I feel very blessed that I had her as a teacher. She, she taught me so much. So if you have one of those in your life, if you have an art teacher who really inspires you, appreciate them. Appreciate them so much because once you don't have them as a teacher anymore, you're going to look back and appreciate all that stuff even more and realize just how much you learned from them. And that's what's so cool about like our journey as artists is the people who teach us things make such an impact. So yeah, shout out to her. She was the best art teacher I ever had. I had art teachers in college too, and they don't hold a candle to her. Is that is that the phrase or they don't hold a flame? I don't remember. You know the saying I'm trying to say? Anyway, this is a Creatures of Peace painting, and I thought it was very fitting for the positive theme. The message behind it is it's sort of like a desolate land, and they're trying to regrow what has been destroyed previously by planting poppies, establishing a home, making it a peaceful place. That's what this piece is about. Sorry I didn't explain it throughout this video, but yeah. Um, also, the one creature is holding something that looks huge. It's a giant poppy seed. I thought it would be hilarious to make the poppy seeds, like, enormous. <laughs> so, that's what you're seeing in the one creature's hand. Yeah. Alrighty. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry this video is very long. I had a lot to say about this. Be sure to check out... Hello Alice and Monique Renee art because their art pieces for this collab are so beautiful. I like, I can't even say that enough. I'm so proud of them and I believe they both did it on Procreate. So cool. Anyway, I love them and yeah, have a good day and thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.